<laughs> this is Becca Nelson, and what a wonderful organization. Actually, Becca, you uh, w moved to Boston because you had had an idea and found out that it was already being used. Hang Tell on us a about it. You mean Boston, 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 Massachusetts? Earlier we were talking, there is a place near Pittsburgh called Boston, and I thought, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm not coming to Boston to thrift shop. It's New England. Yes. Okay, you're oh, in New I England. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about thrift shopping. It's mm -hmm. a bit far yeah, a drive. Yeah, far for that. Let, let's get back on track here. We're back. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and back tell us the about story. the organization. So, my thinking was that um, there are needs in the body of Christ um, where people need help with their computers, with their cars, with their yards with their ministries, with their kids, and we need to match people. My dad and I are brainstorming this. And I've been serving in Africa and other places, and I have a lot of friends who are great with computers, but who like to stay with their computers. Mm -hmm. so they could help people make websites, etc. We want to connect them. Um, and so I found out that this was not my great idea because someone was already doing it. Mm -hmm. So that's what we were speaking about earlier. I moved to Boston to be on a team of people who are trying to connect volunteers have been doing it for years and have a great website that's already up and running. Thank Jesus. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to start it myself. Mm -hmm. It's doing great. So we've connected thousands of people already. And the name of that is? It's called ChristianVolunteering.org. Okay. Um, yeah. And wait, there, so rush there, ChristianVolunteering.org. There's some interesting facts that I want to, want to uh, have Becca comment on. First of all, the largest resource in the world for volunteers we have found out by actual research is the Christian church. It's true. Talk about that a little bit. Well, the Christian church is filled with billions of people. In America alone, um, the Christian church is worth 58.2 billion hours or dollars of volunteering in, in volunteer hours. So that means um, we have like a the largest resource of people who can touch others' lives, um, just right here in our fingertips. We just have to connect them. And also, one of the comments that I read with the, the statistics is, this is the best way for us to get into the ethnic communities, to the uh, African American community, the Latino community, and various others, because most foundations are not involved with that. You know, we're, we're trying to bridge um, different communities together because um, there, are, there are areas in, our, in the urban cities where that's where the greatest need is. We have these, um, you know, a lot of people of color are leading fantastic nonprofits. They need help. Um, and so there's ways to find free resources. Christian volunteering is one of them. If we can think about the potential that I'm talking about, you have millions and millions of people who are able to connect mm -hmm. with people who have millions and millions of needs. So that's really what, what we're looking at. So if you go on to aboutchristianvolunteering.org and you punch in tech stuff, they're going to get a lot of opportunities where they could volunteer. Or if they punch in short-term missions, they're going to get a lot of volunteer. What other kinds of things, though? I mean, is there mentoring programs? Is there housekeeping? Is there child? I mean, what else is there out there? Great question. So anything. Yes. You name it, you're going to find it. In fact, one of my, my favorite stories, you know, we've got stories on our website about other people who have who have searched by their zip code and found local opportunities. And we have stories about people who wanted to volunteer in Africa um, and went there. Mm -hmm. And we, we have stories of people who wanted to help Africa without going there. Mm -hmm. But one of my favorite stories, um, because like you said earlier, we get used to thinking it's nursery duty. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it turns out that only 7 to 15 percent of Christians volunteer outside of the church. Mm -hmm. And we definitely want to see Christians in their churches ministering to the community of believers, but we also want to see people going outside the church walls. I, I hope that doesn't mean only 7 to 15 percent of Christians are volunteering. No. It just means within the church. No, yeah, so I mean, well, doing... there's a lot to do at church, right. you know, mm -hmm. but we also want to see those people going outside. So one story, for example, is there was a woman who was great, just like um, the woman who did my makeup today. Mm -hmm. She loved doing makeup. Mm -hmm. She loved um, doing hair. She volunteered um, with cancer patients to help them feel good and feel better. So she volunteered um, at a local hospital, teaching them um, some beauty techniques, how to tie their headscarves so they, they feel good, how to do makeup mm -hmm. and um, take care of their skin. And that's not something we always think of. No. We, we think, I have to be a, an after-school tutor. Mm -hmm. Some people are called to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's a saying that, that your calling is where your deepest joy mm -hmm. meets 
the world's greatest need. So we want to take our deepest joy and the world's greatest need and connect them together, which is God easier has using. something to do with that. I think he does. <laughs> Well, Becca, that, that's absolutely wonderful. We do want to put it up again, and then when we come back from a break, I want to ask about you. You talked about uh, being in Africa and volunteering there, so uh, obviously you feel very strongly about it. But uh, let's give that website again. It's Christian Volunteering Organization. ChristianVolunteering.org. Just, just spell out the word, ChristianVolunteering.org and you can get to, to that website. And beloved, please, please get involved. Our precious Lord wants us to do the kingdom work. We'll be right back. Becca, hang on. Becca Nelson is our special guest. And Becca, tell us about you. When did Jesus become more than just a word to you? All right. I've been a Christian since a very young age, and um, I guess he became more than a word when I finally had a calling on my life to kind of uh, make sure other people heard about him as well. I just grew up knowing Jesus, and then I realized not everybody else does. So I started to um, reach out around the world. Like you mentioned, I went to Africa and, uh, to serve the church there and help them um, reach other people. How did that opportunity come about? Um, it actually came about, well, there were two different occasions. Um, the first time was through my own home church. I had a desire to teach uh, computers to pastors. And when my pastor uh, went to Kenya, he asked what they needed without mentioning me. And they said, we need someone to teach us computers. So I was like, <laughs> that's God matching volunteers. Like you mentioned, God has something to do with it. So that's how I started to get involved. What did it do for you? Uh, volunteering... I mean, whenever we do it, you know, it's sort of like when you go to the gym and you don't really want to do it and you're like, I'm tired, I just want to watch TV and then eat some ice cream and then you go do it and you feel so good. Mm -hmm. So volunteering is a lot the same. But you're, you're relatively young, honey. You went and spent months in Africa and lived in a dorm room. It was, were there other people volunteering at the same time or you really just got on a plane and went to Africa? I really got on a plane and went to Africa, but what I'm trying to even say today to the, to the viewers is with volunteering, there's so many options. Mm -hmm. And so it might be going to Africa for a month, mm -hmm. for a year, or longer. You can mm -hmm. find them on our website. It might be that you need something to do on Wednesday nights where you're serving. Mm -hmm. God has called you to serve in your community and you don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but you know that you need to do something. So that might be anything from an after school center to a soup kitchen um, could be anything. And what's really exciting, I'm just trying to... Wait, it could be fixing elderly be. people's cars or single moms. It could be. It could be painting somebody or doing some repairs around a house for someone. It could be someone. fundraising for somebody who needs it. I mean, what's really cool is that ministries in Africa who I've, you know, worked with can now log on to our website and they can create a profile and start posting opportunities. So what we have are people in Uganda and in Kenya and in India and in Asia saying we need some people to come hold babies in our orphanage. Wow. And they post that there. Wow. And then when you search by country, you're going to come up with those opportunities and click, I want to volunteer. And you literally just contact them, they contact you, and you can go. Becca, that was your first trip. You said you'd been twice. You'd been gone back to Africa again? Yeah. The second time it was a different area. I was working on a master's thesis, and I, um, I helped a Christian missionary there. Who um, He's actually a CNN hero. He, he ministers in Christ's name, feeding children. He set up solar-powered computer centers, um, and so I got to document how to make one. Mm. That was pretty cool. So that's what, I, volunteering can be anything. It depends on what you're good at. If they volunteer, is it like a, a mission trip where they raise their own funds and go? Great question. So on our website, we have several kinds of opportunities. Um, so we have your generic local volunteering. You know, one night a week, two nights, whatever you want to do and commit to. Um, and then we have virtual volunteering, which gets me really excited. This is when someone needs help with a website, with accounting, with anything you can do from home. My favorite story of all time, I found out there's a woman on our website who counsels people. She, she's a counselor who's a Christian who supports women who have been hurt by adultery. Maybe their husbands are addicted to pornography or they've been cheating on these, on these women. She has responded to thousands of messages on, on message boards online 
from women who need support. She counsels them. It turns out she does it all from home, and she's blind. Mm. And she uses special wow. software. Wow. I know. So this is what her, her greatest joy is. Mm -hmm. And so she's meeting the world's needs. So. If you just tuned in, you need to uh, log on to christianvolunteer.org or you can reach their website through the cornerstone, ctvn.org. You can link to their site. So you have two ways to get there. And it's very exciting, though. I'm still a little overwhelmed because you're talking <laughs> about thousands of opportunities. Amen. Not yeah. a few, thousands. And you're talking, sometimes when we have a guest, it's local. But I right. mean, this is all across our viewing audience or even the people that log in through the stream or through the you know satellite on, on the computer like this is all over the world they could log on and be involved you are really connecting the body of Christ worldwide to meet the needs of the world yeah that's what you're doing and for them it, for you it can be local so right. you type in your zip code right so. and you know it's, it's sort of like anything else with Google you want to find the closest McDonald's mm -hmm. you type in your zip code you want to find the closest opportunities to home type in your zip code. Now, if you want to look based on skill, maybe you're great with kids, you can search for opportunities where you work with kids. Mm -hmm. And when you mentioned you need to raise your own support, we have internship positions on our site as well that are paid. We have internship positions that provide room and board, perhaps in a rescue mission. So there are all kinds. Uh, so like you went to Africa to help pastors, and I'm thinking of, you know, I have, I have a sister that's uh, in Mongolia. So, I mean, that, that, I could say to you, there is a need in Mongolia for this, and you would post that. Well, what we try to do is have organizations post them themselves. Mm -hmm. In fact, I know that you have prayer partners here, so we have volunteers on the line who can, who can, who can have people praying. Mm -hmm. And so you could post an opportunity saying, we're looking for people who might be interested in praying for others. Okay. You would post that. Sometimes ministries need an extra hand, mm -hmm. and that's kind of where I come in mm -hmm. at my role at the organization. What a wonderful organization. Do go to that website, if you will, because there is no excuse in this modern, wonderful age that God has given us, beloved, for us to have opportunities to minister. So all of us need to be involved. All of us. Go to ChristianVolunteering.org. Do it today, beloved. Do it. And uh, I know that you're going to be blessed. Becca, thank you so much. What a joy. And we'll be back after this.